Oh no, that's not the case. <laughs> a big old guy. See, see those little tubers you were talking about? Yeah. Reeves? Yeah, they'll produce more, but I'm sure there's some in the ground there for the Yeah, this one stayed in. Yeah, leave it there. First they dumped them other little ones back in there too. And then all these, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm Wow. What was that one? That eat him first. Yeah. That. Do they smell a little garlic? Not as much as the actual garlic. There's our garlic harvest. This one here is probably our biggest one. And our smallest. That isn't our elephant garlic. Yeah, that's not the elephant garlic. Here's the elephant garlic. <laughs> we only had a few, um, I guess, clothes to plant last year. But here's size difference from our biggest regular garlic to elephant garlic. Pretty cool. We will let these guys dry and cure and then we will process them to use throughout the year. We are garlic rich. Check out all the apples on the apple trees. This little tree over here, goodness, he's so loaded down, he's about to break his branches. Maybe we'll get us some apples in the fall. Check out the onions, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, Lee, that's a monster right there. Put hand on <laughs> That's awesome. We've never grew onions this big. We got the red, whites, and yellows in here.
Our garlic has been drying and curing for a few weeks now and they are completely done. They are ready to go. Um, you can see the skins are so dry on them. They are ready to be processed and stored for future use. We will probably make some minced garlic and uh, what I'll do is cut these dried up stalks off. I'll probably leave about two to three inches on there from the bulb and I will store them more than likely like in a paper bag. But yeah, they're done drying and curing and ready to use. We put our smaller garlic bulbs over here on top of this. Uh, this is usually what we use for growing out our baby chickens and stuff. Uh, like our little brooder box. <laughs> it, is, it works perfect as a drying rack. So They're ready. And this little old greenhouse stand with the little racks in them. With holes in them was perfect for our bigger garlic. Yay! Garlic for days.